Welcome to the Space Jam, a new legacy movie review. So before we get started, I'm just gonna get my ranking right now because I know people love to believe it. Give it a five out of ten. Um, if you would like to know why I give it a five out of ten, just keep watching. So the movie starts with LeBron talking to his mother in the parking lot at his school. It's nice to be able to see the music finally be able to come to play within the music the movie because um, I was listening to it through Apple Music because I had the Apple Music for free for like three months. But anyways, that's besides the point because um, I already had listened to the soundtrack, which will probably be the next video that y'all will see. And he threw away the Game Boy. Really? We throwing away Game Boys now? Okay, LeBron, okay. And, um, this is, like, when he was a little kid. And they lost the game. I forgot to say, before we get even deeper into, well, I'll have it in the beginning. But there will be spoilers all throughout this. So, if you're planning on watching this in the theater or watching this on HBO Max, stop watching. Um, and the intro looks very similar to the old one, just very modern. It didn't really have that very... Um, the very pop and circumstance kind of song. Um, like the original Space Jam with Michael Jordan. I'm not going to be comparing here. Also, I think Jam, we want to jam. Everybody jam. And then this one's like, um, it was very somber. It was like, can we just pick up the pace here, pick up the space? And I got very bored within 10 minutes of the movie. So there was a lot of skipping. Like you can't skip in no theater here. That's why I say... If you have HBO Max, watch it on HBO Max, okay? And then Don Cheadle came in and made the movie a little bit better. I actually skipped ahead to the 21-minute mark. LeBron can't act for anything, but his acting did get a little bit better towards the end. His acting was a little decent, okay? Everybody said his acting was a little bit better than Michael Jordan's. I thought Michael Jordan's was okay. Like, it made me want to keep watching. It didn't make me want to skip. Like, it didn't just want me to just want to fast forward to just see the cartoon characters. Like, really? Uh, LeBron is impressed that Bugs knows who he is. Like, LeBron, everybody knows who you are, okay? You're this big, famous basketball player from the Miami Heats to the, uh, the Lakers. Like, I know a little bit about you. Not that much. Because, yeah. And he's decided to see everybody. Like, that was a really cute reaction. And that's cool about the world. It's like, he got to go to the Harry Potter world. And, um, this world... Like, I guess it was set in, like, Warner Brothers. Like, that's something we didn't get to see in the other movie. Uh, and we got to see Rick and Morty. Like, okay, I see y'all. And Tweety, she's so cute. Can somebody actually tell me, is Tweety a she or a he? Because there was a rumor that Tweety's a she. Uh, okay. And Lola Bunny has always been my favorite. I like that we didn't get to see her just be, like, like a little bit sexy. Because she looked a little sexy in the... In the original but why is she in a wonder woman comics like she was kind of like on this mission and she's like no i don't do that basketball stuff anymore okay i am doing this now bugs but then she heard lebron mention his son she was like son and she heard bugs like trying to fight for his life she was like okay I'll help you. And I like that she got to have a big role. I don't know if it's because Zendaya was behind the character or what. But it was a victory for her, I think. And Don Cheadle is the villain. I'm like, you're the villain? But, like, you're doing, like, this weird little, um, like, little computery things. I don't know. And so father versus son game. And I see they've been adding little touches from the original movie. Like I cannot remember because it's been a couple years because I have the movie on DVD, the original, but I can't find it. Um The Martian. Okay, somebody tell me if you've seen the original Space Jam, did he get smashed by the spaceship the first time and they added it in again? And then the animation, like, okay, so they was in their original cartoon animation, and then Don Cheeto came in, I forgot his name, Mr. Rhythm or whatever his name is, right? He came in and upgraded them into, like, 3D animation. I was like, 
but it looked better before. Like, I did not like an animation at all. And then we get to see all these little different cartoons. Like, you see the mask. You see, you see, um, you saw Scooby-Doo. You see, you see all these different cartoon characters. Like, it, it was, like, so many cartoons. So, basically, if LeBron wins the, wins the game, they all get their lives back. If LG, AG, whatever this dude's name is, wins, they get to start. They stay there in the server world, and all the cartoons get deleted. So, basically, Don Cheeto's character wants to rule the world. And the Goon Squad is mixed with WNBA players. Like, you know, they, one got turned into a worm, a snake, whatever. One was like a little birdie. And one was like water and fire. Um, one of the funniest things LeBron said in the movie was like, your eyebrows, they need a break up from each other. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And then what happened to a regular game of basketball? Okay, the sun... LeBron's son, Dom, Dominic, whatever, he was flying up, like, what is all with this extent? Like, I understand it was, like, kind of like a video game, but you don't need to be asked. And this dude was splashing around with fire and water. And he was, like, style points. What the F is fire points? Style points? What, 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 what are we doing with some style points, okay? And I'd say the last 40 mi minutes of the, the movie was basketball, which is what's supposed to be. I just didn't like the animation, like, period. And all the music in the soundtrack, you really hear it in the basketball parts of the movie, I would say. And it was so cute. Like, I, I love the villains from the other movie. Like, from Marshallette or whatever. Like, you got to see them from the movie. They, they was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I see y'all. I see y'all. And then they was like, okay, Sylvester was like, I found Michael Jordan. I was about to get so hyped. And this is the reason why I dropped down to a five. I was like... Don't be hyping us up like that, because I really, y'all brought Michael Jordan in the movie. They brought the actor. I mean, Michael B. Jordan's fine, and he's fine, but um, really, y'all didn't have to do something like that. Like, that wasn't funny. He's like, it's been 25 years. Wow, y'all just really made me feel old. But, um, yeah, like, no. And they start getting some points, and there's a rap break during the game. Just play the game, okay? The little piggy can rap. And then Don Cheeto cursed at the end. He was like, just play the effing game, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really, dude? Okay. And then LeBron tells his son that he wants him to be himself. Okay. That's, that really stuck true to Dom. He was like, okay, I can do this. And then Dom was like, okay, that's it. You know what? I'm standing up to you, Mr. Rhythm. And he's like, I you, I think you just want people to fear them. And then he was like, I'm going to go play with my dad. And I was like, right on, right on. And then you know what, what Don Cheeto did? I'm sorry. I can't remember his character's name. His acting was that good. I can't remember his character's name. But, um... I predicted that he would become one of the players himself. He did, like, he, he became, became all computery, and he basically became a bigger, taller, computeryized version of himself. And this movie is kind of predictable itself. And LeBron does a step A, a step back glitch, but in a sense, Bugs Bunny does it. It's like, why did you feel the need to do that? You know, you're about to get deleted, right? And LeBron basically wins the game. Mr. Rhythm got turned into a poster. Bugs Bunny saves everybody. And, you know, it looks like he's going to get deleted. It's a week later. Dom, look, it looks like he's going to go to basketball camp. But he ends up taking a break from video games. Like, he wants to take a break. But LeBron actually takes him to game design camp. Because he realizes his passion. That's a good thing about parents. Like, when you realize your child's passion... You don't fight it. You go with it, okay? You go with it. And um, Bugs pops up in the real world. He'll be like, you know what? We're family now. We ain't gonna leave you alone. And that was it for the movie. But, um, yeah, I did not hear all of the music. That was pretty much the reasons why I got a 5 out of 10. One, first of all, don't bring up Michael Jordan and he not pop up in the movie. The basketball player, not the actor. Um, the animation, for one, like, that was redonkulous, okay? Zendaya did a good job as Lola Bunny. LeBron's acting, I would give it a 4 out of 10. It was not that great, okay? Because it made me want to skip through, and I don't skip through movies. If you know me, I don't skip through movies. 
but um yeah when i get this movie or rewatch before um they take it off hbo max i might but um yeah that is it i'm gonna go ahead and give my rankings of the worst to best of the soundtrack because i know some of y'all love when i review music but uh yeah please come back please subscribe i know i know i've made some changes over here but they are for good they're for good but 